I genuinely cannot believe that I'm packing for university. Like, th this doesn't feel real. I mean, it, it genuinely doesn't. <sighs> um, well, <laughs> well, it's a good job I won't be living here anymore. Fuck, I really need to repaint that. I genuinely can't believe that I start university tomorrow. Like, I literally just... It doesn't even sound right to say. Like, I've been on a gap year now for over 18 months. Like, I can't even remember the last time I actually did any form of education. And tomorrow I start university. Like, there's things in life that you just never think will ever come around. It's, you know, GCSEs, A-levels, you just don't ever think they'll happen. And I mean, in fairness, my A-levels didn't happen. Like, I've always thought that people at university are just so old. And now, that's me. Like, that's me tomorrow. And the thing is, I genuinely don't even know how to feel about it. Like, I don't, I, I like, I'm actually confused. Like, there's no, there's literally no way around it. I just feel confused. Used. But also, I now feel nervous. I mean, I, I don't really ever normally feel nervous. I'm not really someone that gets nervous very often, but like, tomorrow's a big day. Like, tomorrow is that next step in my life that I never thought would really ever happen. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's the next step that I need to take. I need to move out of my parents' house. I mean, it's about time for my mental health and everything else. But yeah. But yeah, let me give you a little bit of context because, well, you know, you need a little bit of context in your life. So tomorrow is October 2nd and I am going to be moving to London, to Imperial, which makes it even more scary because London is a scary place, but I've always wanted to live there. And I'm going to be studying biomed for the next three years, which is just ridiculous because that's a long period of time, you know? But yeah, look, I've actually been really looking forward to this day for over 12 months now since I got in because honestly, I need, I, I've always wanted to move to London. London's where I want to be. London's where everything that I want to do is. And I'm, yeah, I, I, tomorrow is going to be a great day. But yeah, I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning, probably half dead because they're giving me a ridiculously early sign in time. And uh, yeah, I'll share one of probably the biggest days of my entire life. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. <sighs> my last bowl of cereal on my gap year. Not something I never thought I'd say, to be honest, I can't lie. <sighs> I am absolutely shattered. I didn't get much sleep last night, that is safe to say, so uh, I know I look like a dog's ass, but um, yeah. I don't actually normally vlog before like 3 p.m. in the afternoon, mostly because I either wake up very late or also because I actually have no personality before like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Anyways, I've been given like a ridiculously early like move-in time today, so um, yeah, I'm here now and um, I'm trying my best. Having said that though, I'm pretty nervous, so the adrenaline is carrying me through a little bit. I, I just can't believe my gap year is over. I, I, I was going through my photos last night from the whole year, and like, I just felt sad, man. I, I feel sad that this is over, but I'm also so excited for the next step. On another note though, I did not realize like how many items of clothing I actually owned. Like, um, it, it, it's quite amazing. I mean, I don't think you can quite see how full this car actually is, but it's, it's very full. I've got to get two family members in here as well, which is also another thing. Like I've never actually vlogged in front of my dad and my mum together. So um, yeah, this is, could be very different. But yeah, anyways, let's get going because I need to get to uni. So unlike the rest of Britain right now, as you can see, we actually have got petrol. Um, for anyone who doesn't live in England, uh, England actually ran out of petrol, basically. And uh, people were queuing for hours and hours. So uh, yeah, that's that's obviously a main positive, because obviously I wouldn't be otherwise get to uni. Like, the actual drive to the uni is actually only an hour long. Like, I actually don't really live that far from outside London, but um, yeah. I mean, obviously I don't actually live in London. I mean, that'd be the classic uni thing to just say I live in London, which obviously I don't. So yeah, I live outside London. Anyways, I'm going to carry on being nervous and sitting in my seat and not really saying much, because I'm actually very nervous right now. I haven't really got a lot to say, and that's kind of why I'm over talking now as well. And uh, yeah, I'll update if anything interesting happens to be honest So we're five minutes away now, and uh, that, that route literally felt like I was doing the big red bus. That is literally London tourism in a nutshell. Honestly, if there's a main character entrance to London, I think that is the main character entrance to London. Like, I, I, yeah. Anyways, we're actually about three minutes away now, and um, the actual guidance to getting in is ridiculous. Like, we're only allowed outside my accommodation for 15 to 20 minutes, because basically we're in central London. Like, there's not really much parking going on around here. And yeah, to be honest, I'm just trying not to think about it. Like, my stomach's kind of doing somersaults a little bit. I mean, you know... <laughs> Anyways, I'm on sat nav duty right now, because... Um, it, this is complicated. Like, I mean, this map, oh, I don't even know how to describe it, but we're almost there is the point. All right, cheers, thank you. And we're here. And here we go. So I just had to come away real quick because basically I had to just do like a whole bunch of admin. I didn't want to film, I didn't want to encroach on people's personal space. Um, we're actually going to go to my room now. I'm, I, I'm very, very nervous, so yeah. And here we are. 
Wow. In fairness, this room is literally 265 a week, but like it's actually, I'm actually quite happy with it. Like I wasn't, I was kind of worried because like London I thought would be quite small, but it's actually not too bad. I mean, the only disappointing thing is that, that pretty much, I mean, it's a single bed. It's not really ideal. But yeah, honestly, I genuinely am really happy with this. Like, like I really don't think you can go wrong with this. I mean, you know, shower, it's standard, it's clean. I mean, that's the main thing, it is clean. That, I mean, that is the most important thing in life, to be honest. Well, I mean, maybe not in life, but in student life anyways. Anyways, I need to go get my stuff real quick because like, we've only got like 15 minutes left of my allocated time. Honestly, it's like some it's like some time trial or something. I don't know, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna go get my stuff. I mean, to be fair though, I don't know what they're gonna do if I'm here longer than 15 minutes. I mean, what, are they gonna do like find me? I mean, it's not like Squid Game. They're not gonna like fucking shoot me in the head or anything, but yeah. Anyways, let's go get my stuff. Let's go get it. I'm going. Oh, you're off? Yeah. All right. Bye. Yeah, Cheers. enjoy it. Thank you. Sensible-ish. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. So my dad's just left my uni moving in day so that he can make the Sunderland football match. Honestly, some things never change. Bye. Come back. Bye. Take care. Good luck. I'll, t I'll text you. Got stuff in my hands. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, this feels so weird now. Oh, man, Oof, my hair's looking terrible. Oh, saying goodbye to my parents, like, oh, I don't even know, that felt weird. I've been out traveling this year and I've gone places and I've said goodbye to them, but that just like, it felt weird. I'm not gonna hype it up, but it just, it, it was a weird, it was a weird one. It was a weird one. But yeah, anyways, as you can see, I've actually unpacked all my stuff now. I haven't unpacked it, I brought my stuff in. I managed to move them to you, say goodbye to my parents, move all my stuff in before I would have even have woken up at home normally. <sighs> So I genuinely think that's all the unpacking that there is to be done, to be honest. I mean, I think I've done a pretty good job. I don't, I'll, I'll give you a little... I mean, there's nothing on the floor is the point. But yeah, let's be honest, my room kind of looks like a psychiatric ward at the moment. So at some point I will be redoing it. I just can't be arsed. And the only thing that I've actually brought to decorate anything is this lovely handmade Moroccan carpet, which I'll now be laying on the floor. Honestly, just look how beautiful that is. That was that was sixty pounds from Morocco, but made by someone's granny or auntie. I don't even know, but it's it's beautiful. It's lush. But yeah, look, I've never been particularly great at displaying emotions. I am an introvert in person, even though I try and be an extrovert on camera. But to try and speak what I'm feeling now, I'm just kind of in this zone where I don't like. I'm just I, I'm just kind of looking forward to. it, I'm excited, but I'm also I don't know. It's it's a really conflicting emotion where I, I actually it's not really that confusing. I mean, it's just a mixture of feeling very fucking nervous mixed with excitement that I'm being here and also sadness that I've ended my gap here. I mean, you know. But yeah, anyways, it's two o'clock, and I guess that's kind of the end of my moving in. I mean. I'm actually really nervous. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to make some friends in the next coming days. Because, I mean, although I do have some friends in London, I would like to make some more. And obviously, if you are in a uni in London or the uni that I'm at, please send me a DM on Instagram and yeah, we can link up, whatever. Let me know. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe because honestly, I've got so much more uni content coming and also London content. So yeah, make sure you subscribe for that. And yeah, anyways, as always, please make sure you like, subscribe, and yeah, have a nice day. Cheers. Yeah.